This is the viral TikTok foam dart blaster. A lot of people have been using this thing. Is it any good? I think I should be the one to be able to judge this pretty well because I talk a lot about blasters. So let's get this out of the box, see what it's about. And um, yeah, I, I'm very curious to see just how good this is. All right, there's multiple pieces this thing has, including this tactical vest, which, uh, I mean, it has some snazzy stars on it. There's also pieces that this blaster is just in, so I have to assemble it a little bit first. It seems like there's like the, the main barrel part, the actual trigger mechanism, and then a battery. So we'll have to put that together and then we'll have a blaster. Now I put this together the best I could and I looked at the box to see how to do it. So if you're coming at me with this being backwards, take it up with the box. Um, <laughs> it does have this magazine and the unfortunate thing that I immediately recognized is that it is a three quarter length dart. It is not a half length dart. It's not even a full length dart, which I think would have been a better option. Three quarter length. That's an oddball. It really is. But there's plenty of darts in the box remaining here. So uh, let's load one of these things up. We'll, we'll see just how uh, wild this thing goes. Now, from what I can tell about this blaster is that it just hit some kind of zeitgeist and that people were just immediately interested in it. It was one of those TikTok shop things where you could easily buy it. There's all these kinds of deals. And in fact, that's one of the interesting things about this thing is like, I can't tell you a price for it because I, I it, like it moves so quickly, I wouldn't be able to give you any sort of accurate description of what this would even cost. I, I did get the scent to me as a sample from the TikTok shop. So um, that's what I think everybody needs to know about. But I do have a magazine loaded up here. Let's put it in the blaster. Well, first let's appreciate, this is just a cool looking blaster. It feels not, I mean, it, it feels sturdy-ish. I wouldn't say it's the most solidly built thing I've ever held, but it's also not the worst. The battery pack here, you can detach and there is a charge port in the back, just in case you wanna uh, top off the charge on this thing. There's only one button here for the mag release and it, Again, it doesn't really work all that well, but ultimately it has some lights. It's full auto too, so it's just gonna dump some darts. So I'm gonna be also looking at the speed of it too. Like, can we just control this a little bit or is it a wild machine here? Let's go. Okay. I don't know what I was expecting, but I don't think it was that. I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> I didn't honestly think that it was going to dump darts that quickly. I need to put some more darts in the... Settle down. Uh, I'm gonna put some more darts in this thing and see if we can't just fire off one or two shots. Did one come back? I think one hit like the little monitor that I have. All right, so I've got four darts in my hand and what I'm going to be looking for is to see if I can fire one dart off at a time or I guess maybe how few darts can I fire off at a time or is it just gonna dump all of the darts in a blink of a second? I kind of suspect it'll be that case. So let's uh, try this out. Let's see if we can't just fire one, maybe two darts out of this thing. Okay, so I was able to get two. I don't think I can get one out of this thing. It's just too finicky. Maybe, I've got two more darts, right? Nope, two, two, and that's if you lightly feather the trigger. This thing has a long spool down time too. I'm kind of curious to see. Oh, <laughs> okay, take, take a look at this. Here we go. Mechanical clacking, I think is coming from the pusher box that uh, fires the dart so quickly. It sounded almost like an added mechanical sound feature to give it just the feeling of more power, but I don't think that's the, I think it's actually the mechanics of the blaster going a little wild. The other thing that you'll notice too is that it does have the lights on the side. I think that is a great feature. Actually, I, I, I like it. I, I like that feature because of just how um, unnecessary it is, but how cool, like the cool factor it adds to the blaster. And speaking of the foam darts, they are the three quarter length, but there also are some suction tip darts that go along with it that I could put through there, which I think would maybe up the fun factor a little bit for this blaster, but not enough to overcome the fact that it's three quarter length darts, which is kind of like an immediate no for me. There's enough variation in magazine styles, in operation, and all of this other stuff that when it comes to just adding yet another dart type on it, I, I feel we're, we've reached a limit. We have the Nerf N1 dart, we have this, the Elite style dart that's still very prevalent, the full length dart, I guess we all call it now. 
um, the half length dart, and it feels like, like adding another dart length and not just a different type feels a little superfluous so that I wouldn't necessarily feel good about like, yeah, going all in with the three quarter length dart. But okay, we've gotten, a, a, we've gotten a little bit of a look at this thing. So what are some things that I like? Well, one, you know that I like the lights on this. The other thing, I, I like that it just dumps the darts. Like it doesn't try to be a precise blaster. It is just a, a volume blaster. And when you just crank on that trigger, the darts are just kind of dump out of it. While that does mean that you're going to be spending more time reloading this thing and not being as strategic maybe, then grab another blaster for that because this is just an absolute foam hose. I can't really speak to the performance of it, but it feels pretty typical. And because it's firing so many darts at once, I don't even know if you could necessarily get some accurate results with any sort of chronograph testing. You just kind of have to go on feel with this thing. And the feel of this blaster is just overwhelm with a lot of darts all at once. I mean, also the look of this is pretty cool, right? Like it has definite real world counterparts that go along with a blaster like this, but it also feels sci-fi. And I think a lot of that has to do with the gimmick of the lights on it as well as just some of the other uh, space AG colors on it. I think the bright white helps differentiate this a lot. Um, and then uh, I will say this in its benefit, a lot of these just like no name-ish blasters will not have an orange safety barrel. This one does have the safety barrel and it is very prominent, so thumbs up to that. A couple things that I don't like about it is that you don't have any finer control over how many darts this dumps. It would have been great to have like a little dial, a little switch, so that you could theoretically be a little more precise with this thing. The other thing is there are just part, like the, the pieces and parts of it just don't feel all of that sturdy. This isn't going to be a blaster where it can take a beating and still go. You're gonna have to be a little careful with this one. Just the, the plastic flimsiness, it feels okay because it has like a matte finish to it, but ultimately it feels brittle. It doesn't feel solid. I would worry about the longevity of this one if you were playing too rough with it. Now the thing that I absolutely don't like about this blaster is that it uses three quarter length darts. To me, that's almost an immediate disqualifier. It could have easily gone half length dart. <laughs> it could have easily gone half length dart. And I think, uh, you know, having this refined, I mean, it could have even gone full length. Dart. Like, it, there are two very fine options for darts in a blaster like this, and it chose neither of them. Uh, see that, like that, that's the sticking point for me. If you can find this on a good enough deal, I think it's like a fun enough blaster to try. But again, you're saddled with the three quarter length dart thing. And if you are somebody like me who has you know, quite a bit of darts, quite a bit of blasters and a lot of variation, adding more to that is, is a little unfortunate. Um, but if you're somebody who maybe hasn't gone, you know, all in on half length dart blasters. No, it's like, like okay, I'm thinking about it, no, because like if you take this to a, a blaster war or like a community game or something like that, you're not, you're not gonna have the ammo in either the community reserves or what people are bringing to like effectively use one of these things. It is such an oddball out, that three quarter length, that uh, it just makes it very difficult to recommend. It's fun, there's some great gimmicks here. Gimmicks that I wish would be applied to like more blasters out there. We don't get that for whatever reason, but really we, we need more lights on blasters. I think maybe that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and also just like the foam hose that this is, it makes you smile. Like I, I can see why it's so viral on TikTok because of that aspect, right? So when you hold down the trigger and the darts just go blah, it's a fun moment, but it does last just a moment because they go so quickly. Oh, I mean like, and again, we'll, we'll just throw another mention for the vest. I feel like this deserves, deserves another mention because I mean, how stylish have I looked throughout this entire review? Let me know in the comment section. How stylish, how stylish does the vest make me look? Um, I'm also a little bit worried that I might not be able to get out of it because it is, it's kind of rather small. It's made for a child. <laughs> and then while you're at it, while you're in the comment section, let me know like if you think the three quarter length dart thing is a, is a non-negotiable for you. And if you like blasters, if you like talking about blasters and, and especially like viral products, viral toys from TikTok or other places, I mean, I've got, I've got a lot of toys, a lot of collectibles, a lot of action figures, blasters, stuff like that. I mean, this stuff is in my wheelhouse. And if it's in your wheelhouse too, hit that like, follow, subscribe, share, comment, whatever it takes to get more videos. Because if you like all of the things that you've seen here today, you'll also like some of the videos that I've got coming up for you. So that's everything that I know about this viral TikTok blaster. 
Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.